All right, next is good old IP source guard. A lot of times this is going to be discussed along with the DHCP snooping section, but because DHCP snooping is more of a layer two protocol and this is more geared towards layer three, this was inserted into the layer three section. So how this works is it does need DHCP snooping enabled first, and then we do need to enable IP source guard. So kind of back to that concept of DHCP snooping, remember all ports were untrusted and then we as administrators had to go in and provision the trusted ports. So on these untrusted ports, what we're gonna be doing is we are going to make sure that we are learning the IP address that was assigned to that end user. So in the event that an end user is trying to spoof their traffic, let's say the correct IP that was supposed to be on this interface was 10.0.1.3, but then the attacker is trying to spoof traffic from 10.0.1.2. If the traffic doesn't match, we're gonna go ahead and drop it. So it's an easy way for us to be able to prevent any IP spoofing um, attacks. And if we're already enabling DHCP snooping, well, why not also enable um, IP source guard? Um, we do also have the ability to statically assign any IP addresses on particular ports. And um, generally we are supporting this on those layer two ports. Um, so access ports can be configured on trunk ports, but there might be some limitations with the number of IPs and overall space that this might consume. So feel free to dig into that in a little bit more detail if you'd like, but two ways of um, filtering. Basically, we can look at source IP or source IP and MAC filtering. So this is one way and this right here is the other. All right, and then they just want you to be aware of the hardware resources that uh, might come along with enabling this on a trunk port. All right. So here are some examples of either using static IP um, mappings, let's say if you have a server, um, or if you want to enable an IP source guard with device tracking, you can also um, certainly do that on any of your other interfaces if necessary.